Yeah, I'm just, you know, doing a little work on the X-Rider Flamingo, uh, changing the servo because the original servo that comes with it isn't the best of servo and mine's gone dead. But I came across something that I feel I should share with you all in the world of RC who owns this unit. I'd suggest, yeah, changing the servo because what happened to the servo horn, you know, gets eaten out and then this servo gets burnt out, you know. What happened, as much as this unit is quite small, there's a lot of strain on the servo to the setup of the front wheel and especially if you use the larger wheel like I'm using. So you have to have a really good servo with some good torque, you know. It's not even so much of speed but torque because there's a lot of pressure to the setup. In order to install the server, I've got you know a different store, you know server, stronger server, digital to put in, install, and uh, what I found out and be aware of this, you have to pull the entire unit out, everything out to get the server. But the rider is also glued on, and that makes it complex because you will not get the server out to hold the setup. You know it's set up inside i'm showing you an example what to do to get the server out after you've removed everything as you can see all the bits the server will still be inside yeah keep that in mind when you you know you you, you dismantle everything leaving the frame like this hold if you're facing the rider as i am hold the, the, the side panel, the right side panel, and the rider. And this is the side panel, the one with the cutout. You want to try to, you know, shift it until it comes loose. Yeah? So this is the one you want to get get out. Leave, leave the rider onto this one glued still. Because if you take it off, the rider is going to come off easily when you start operating. So keep it glued onto this. But free up this one and leave it unglued when you install because originally the server comes installed like this and then this would go over making it quite hard to get out yeah so that's the original setup and it's hard to get out you know it's hard to get out so that's what i highly recommend this is very important the rider is glued on, hold it, and you want to work this side until it comes loose and keep this one glue on. And I'll show you the finished product after, after I installed everything and assembled back the entire unit. Well, yeah, as I was working on this thing, I discovered a little issue. Um, the servo that comes with the X-Rider, yeah, this length is crucial. It's like a 30 millimeter, 30.5 millimeter in length. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's what I'm trying to show you. It works well says it's a mini server but i've got a mini server here and i realize in length this one is no 35 so it doesn't work inside this in any way you know it doesn't it doesn't fit i might have to modify this mean filing it out a little bit and just hope it works well you know and uh, it's really complex because the size of server they use I don't know if x rider wanted people to purchase just their server which it's not a high quality server because look what happened yep yep so that's the issue so the server has to be changed out if you intend to run run this unit really hard <laughs> you know so um i think i might try modifying just trimming out a little bit with the dremel and see how it goes if not i'll just have to buy another you know and maybe one of the server because i enjoy running the unit but just to let people know this is what i encounter 
mini servos, you know, 35 millimeter in length will not fit. It's like a specific size and the size they have, it's quite rare. The only size servo I find is the Savox. There's a Savox, um, the, let me put it up here, the 0250MG. The waterproof digital micro sorb, you know, servo, that's the only one that really seemed like it would fit. And it's a one bolt, and that means it'll work on this side, which is thinner. But this side, if you are to use that servo, you also have to file this out. So I think X Rider, you know, could make a, a, a different mainframe for the server just to use a standard server because it's a very unusual size the choice i have to you know chop this mainframe to get it to work and it's not a straightforward installation so i'm just kind of updating you all with you know the problem i encountered all right What I've done here, you can see, I've widened the space a little bit more so this can you know, accommodate the universal size of the mini server which is like 35 <coughs> times you know, 15 times 30 you know, in millimeters. And I'm just using two sections to bolt the servo in so I've widened it a little mo more. So as you can see, yeah. The servo fits in nice and easily now. So all I'm gonna do is just bolt in. Yep, and this will fit all universal size mini servo. And I've also shaved out the other side for it to fit in, you know. So everything works quite well. So it fits in quite well. This is something X Rider might want to look into just to make a universal mainframe. This is the original servo horn, which won't work. Uh, it's a smaller, you know, spline area. This is a Futaba size. So, what I did was go in the parts box and I got this servo horn from one of my past build, you know, and I've cut it the length because it was the first hole that was used so I just measured and, and cut it you know quite close and also I'll be changing this is the original arm the, 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 the shaft the servo shaft that connects this the steering and I'm gonna change it also and I'm gonna use either of these two I created add some titanium turn bottles so I'm either gonna try this Ben one, and also you can use a straight one. The straight one works well too. So I'm gonna see what's what, and so I'm gonna change it. So once I've completed everything, I'll show you, you know, the finish, you know, product. So it's good to go now. Uh, the fact that I've sorted this out and the server works quite well. All right, stay tuned. Alright, yes, now everything is completed and sorted. As you can see, I've installed the server. I've worked, you know, on the mainframe and I've changed the turnbuckle. And the thing about it is that you should have a really loose play on the turnbuckle, which you haven't got with the original one. You should be able to have that play. So, it's a little titanium turnbuckle, I give it a little bend and got it, you know, some ball studs out of the spear box. Yeah, as you can see, I've made a little handle for the man, but we focus on the, <coughs> the modification to get the servo fit in. Now, what's important, um, the servo <coughs> length that will fit inside the original mainframe, it's anywhere between 29 and 30. 31 is the maximum. My modification is just cutting it out a bit. 
Now, just to give you a little overview, whoop, you know. Yeah, I got everything all hooked up. And I've adjusted the trim and the end points from left to right because that's what you need to check also. Make sure you're not straining the servo. Yep. And um, let me just, so you can see. Yeah. Yep. Far better, far better. You know. Yep. So, just from a side view. Yep. So it's a coreless motor in this server, so you can hear it centering. That's it, make sure there's no strain going on. Yep, so. Good to go, all right. So stay tuned for a complete review of the modification and everything I've done to this. You know, even the mods, you cannot see that kind of thing. Yeah, so hope this helps. X-Rider in future, if they can just make a universal size, which is like the 35, something that fits 35 millimeter in length. Yeah, because the micro servo might not be even strong enough for this because as much as this is small, it does put a lot of pressure to the angle, you know, the, the fork is at and all that stuff. So yeah, there you go. All right.